boys and girls. I'm so excited. Today we are going to be making sensory play-doh. So I'm going to show you all the materials that we need and then we will get started. So to start off, I have my recipe written down on my card on this piece of paper. So the ingredients that we'll be using today is two cups of flour. So I have our flour. Then we have one cup of salt. So I have some salt. Then we have two tablespoons of oil. So teacher Hannah has avocado oil. You really can use any type of oil. Um, then we have one cup to about one cup or one fourth um, of a cup of water. So that one will kind of depend on the consistency or what it feels like. And we have our water. And then the fun part about this Play-Doh that we're making today is that we get to put some natural things that smell so good. So you can do something as simple as maybe going into your garden and maybe picking some rosemary or some lavender that smell so good. Um, or today we are going to be putting some cinnamon in our Play-Doh because teacher Hannah loves cinnamon and I just think it's such a cozy fun smell and it's something that will ex allow us to have that sensory experience of scent. So I'm so excited and let's get started. So I'm going to move my materials this way out of the way so then we can bring our big mixing bowl and we can get started. So our first ingredient is we have our bowl and our wooden spoon and we also have our measuring cups. So I have three different measuring tools that we'll be using today. We have our one cup, our half cup, so two of these equal one of these. So I'm really excited to be able to practice our measuring. And then we have a tablespoon. So this is one tablespoon that we'll be using for our oil. So I'll set these right here. All right. So if you guys remember, our first ingredient is two cups of flour. So I'm going to be using my one cup. All of our labels are kind of rubbed off, but that's okay. I know that this is the one cup. Then we have our flour. I'm gonna do this over the bowl so that way if it spills, it just goes into the bowl. So I'm gonna get some flour and a good strategy to make sure we're getting the full cup is to kind of shake it gently. You can add a little bit more. And then what you can do, I'm just gonna set this in here for right now, is you can use your finger and kind of spread it back and forth so that way it evenly you get a nice flat cup of flour. All right. And then I'm going to pour it into our bowl. So we have one cup. Then get our second cup. I'm actually using wheat flour because this is the wheat this is the type of flour that we had available. Maybe you guys have white flour. The only difference is that this flour is a little darker. All right, and then give it a little shake. And we can use our fingers to flatten it out so we make sure we get a full cup. There we go, that's always a good strategy to use. So we have one cup plus one more cup equals our two cups. So we have two cups of flour, and now I'm gonna mark off and check that we have two cups of flour in our bowl. All right, so our next ingredient is a half a cup of salt. So now I have my um, container of salt. I actually just got this from the grocery store today, so it has a label stu stuck on it. All right. Here we go, and I'm gonna pour one half a cup of flour. Oh, it's white. Kind of looks like a kind of looks like sand. All right, and make sure you stop right before it gets full, and then just like we did with the flour, I'm gonna shake it a little bit and make sure we have a half a cup of salt. I'm gonna pour it into our bowl. All right, 
And then I get to mark off that one on our list. I'll mark it off, check. Teacher Hannah loves to make lists. So this is a great way to just remember which ingredients you've already put in and which ingredients you have left to put in. And also is a great way to kind of practice your numbers and addition and things like that and following, following steps when we get to make a recipe. So our next ingredient is two tablespoons of oil. So this is one tablespoon. So how many of these do I need for two tablespoons? You're right, I'm gonna do it twice. So I get two tablespoons of our oil. So I'm gonna open up my container. And then I'm gonna pour one, oh, I almost spilled, that's okay. One tablespoon. And two tablespoons of oil. Mine kind of looks like a volcano. Do you guys see it going off the edge? That's kind of fun. All right, so I'm gonna put the cap back on and set this to the side. And then we have, oh, almost forgot. I get to check it off. Check. We have two tablespoons of oil in there. So our next ingredient is our water. You're right, we get to put our water in. So this is one cup of water and it's warm water, so it's kind of warm right now. Um, if you need some help, just find an adult and they can help you with the hot water because we definitely want to make sure you guys are careful and don't burn your skin. Um, and, but have I have my pitcher of water and I'm going to eyeball it a little bit because you just want a little bit in order to get a good consistency which just means what it's going to look like. So if you want it more watery or if you want it more um, thick or you want it thicker, um, then you can add less water. So I'm gonna pour about a cup of water. And the cool thing is I have a measuring cup so it gives me all the measurements. I don't know if you can see that or not. All the measurements on the side. So when it gets to the one cup line, which is about right here, which I'm almost there, then I'm gonna stop. All right. Then what we have, so it kind of should look like this to some degree. You have your flour, you have your wet ingredients, you have your dry ingredients. And then I'm gonna mark that we have our water. So check. And then the last ingredient on our list is natural add-ins. So all that is, is you can add in whatever you like. So if you wanna add in food coloring, if you wanna add in cinnamon, if you wanna add in maybe go to your garden or out in your yard and pick some rosemary because it smells so good um, we also have lavender or if you have maybe you guys have essential oils at home you guys can put that in here as well um, or if you have a lemon or a orange you can um, get the zest off of the lemon or squeeze some lemon juice in here anything that's gonna make it smell super super tasty um, that way when you guys are playing with your Play-Doh, you get to smell all of that when you're playing with it. All right, but Teacher Hannah is gonna be adding in some cinnamon today, so there's not an exact measurement. Um, so I'm just gonna sprinkle it until I think that that's enough. Ooh, I can already smell it. it smells like a, like a cookie. All right, so I'm gonna put some cinnamon inside and close that, and then you get to mix it. So I'm gonna stir all of our ingredients together, making sure I'm getting the edges of the bowl. My Play-Doh is turning brown. What color is your guys' Play-Doh? Maybe you guys added in food coloring. Maybe you guys kept it plain and maybe just added in really good smelling stuff. All right. I'm curious what kind of things that you guys added in your Play-Doh. thinking of some other fun things that you guys could do is maybe even if you wanted to go collect some flowers and maybe put some flower petals in it. Anything that makes it smell good or look extra pretty. I just think it's always so fun to add in those natural add-ins 
So that way when you get to play with your Play-Doh, not only do you get to squish and mold and play with the Play-Doh, but then while you're doing that, it also smells super, super nice. I'm gonna need a little bit more water because it's pretty thick. If you guys see that, it's still kind of dry and I want it to come together just a little bit more. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more water. All right, and we're gonna try that. All right. And then after you get most of it stirred together, then you can start using your hands and I'm so excited. All right. So I'm gonna set this over here and then I'm gonna use my hand. I'm gonna keep this hand clean, but I'm gonna keep this hand so I can squish. See how that's coming together a little bit more? It's kind of warm. Smells like cinnamon to me. It smells like a cinnamon snickerdoodle cookie. What does your Play-Doh smell like? And then you can squish it until it forms a big ball. And then you guys get to go and maybe find a tray or find a part on your table where you guys can play with the Play-Doh. Maybe find some popsicle sticks, maybe some uh, maybe some sticks, maybe some toothpicks, um, really anything you guys can add in and just explore the Play-Doh. What does it feel like in your hands? What does it smell like? Mmm, smells like a cookie. All right, and then what does it look like? Teacher Hannah's is brown, and it's kind of like a light brown, like a tan. So maybe you guys have blue Play-Doh, maybe you guys have white Play-Doh, but maybe you guys have small little bits of rosemary or lavender. Maybe you guys colored it yellow and then you put lemon in it. The options are endless. All right, and that is how you make some Play-Doh. So like I said before, now you guys can take your Play-Doh, you guys can play with it. You guys can make cookies with it. Um, you guys can maybe get some cutters and maybe cut your Play-Doh. Really, now is the fun part where you guys get to go explore with some Play-Doh. So I hope you guys had fun and I will see you guys soon. Bye guys.